Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in a game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. <laughs> This week versus the Cincinnati Bengals is going to be important that the Houston Texans get pressure on Andy Dalton in that passing game of Cincinnati. And I'm going to show you how they can do so by putting both J.J. Watt and Jadeveon Clowney on the same side. No quarterback wants to see two outstanding pass rushers on the same side. And the reason why I have it aligned this way is we know J.J. Watt will attract a lot of attention. We want Jadeveon Clowney to get pressure without any restrictions. No getting off blocks or anything like that. We want him just to have a free reign to the quarterback, just to rush and get to the quarterback. Now, pre-snap, it looks like cover three, but it's essentially cover one. So we're going to get pressure on the outside. We're going to have the strong safety drop in the flat, free safety drop in the middle of the field. And these guys are manned up one-on-one -on -one versus these outside receivers. The good part about this cornerback is that he can sit off and read both Andy Dalton and the receiver by allowing the strong safety to play underneath and bust the flat area, he's in a great position to make a play on the ball if, it, if he throws a quick slant or try to do anything quick and in. This is a great position for him to be in. And what we're doing with everyone up front, we're going to crash this five technique hard on the outside shoulder of this guard in the B gap. Why? Because we're sitting this linebacker, inside backer looping around in the C gap. We're going to have no tackle push to center, drop back, in coverage right there just a quick zone blitz we're gonna have this backer work up and boom he's exploding in that weak side a gap that's the purpose of the center i'm sorry the no tackle occupying the center freeing up room for this guy to get through and get to the quarterback all attention is going to be on okay we got a double jj watt he's going to get pressure occupying the tackle so he can't get outside to block the devian clowney and he's dropping back into the hook the curl slant area as well so you see where you can get athletic pressure on the outside your outside backers a lot of attention will be focused on J.J. Watt, thus freeing up Jadeveon and Clowney. Both your inside backers are able to get pressure. We can force a quick and inaccurate decision by Andy Dalton. That's one way I think the Houston Texans can create a turnover, which will be a big play in this ball game. They're going to have to find ways to get the ball back to their offense. Versus the Houston Texans, if I'm the Cincinnati Bengals, I'm going to utilize two tight ends to try to get the offense in a great situation. I know they have one great one in Tyler Eifert and whomever the second tight end is going to be, whether you want to use Ryan Hewitt, finally get Tyler Croft involved, whatever the situation may be, you want to create an opportunity for your tight ends against a 3-4 defense. By formation, two tight ends gives a 3-4 defense problems because it expands through your defense. And you see we have a pseudo pistol, well, a pistol look right here. So we're equal to both sides. We're able to block to both sides if we're running the football. But what we're going to do is put this tight end in motion. And now we're going to work him back up on our line of scrimmage. And you see we've expanded the defensive coverage by putting the wide receiver outside the numbers. And that's huge because, again, now you put the safety in this alley uh, to your advantage. And now you're able to work with greater space. So now when you see this tight end go in motion, guys are probably going to bump over, which is exactly what you want. You want guys to bump over because what we're going to do is try to find an, a way to isolate the safety on one of our better players, our tight end. So what we're doing backside, we're gonna have this receiver work up and work out. We want, to, we want to try to force the safety to make a choice. Either he's gonna get over top, and if he buzzes quickly to the stronger side of the formation, we then want this receiver to break to the post and vacate where he just left. Andy Dalton can hit this any day of the week. So what we're doing with this tight end, the tight end on the line of scrimmage now, his, op, his job is to work up and over to the scene. We want him to bring this safety with him. Why? Because we're working up down the seam and we're working this guy up down the sideline. So now if you're a safety, you have a three on one situation or if this safety wants to bump over and get over top this tight end, you have three on two. Again, you have the numbers advantage. Whichever choice they make is going to be the wrong one. And that's exactly what you want if you're Andy Dalton. So you just run your fake right here, blocking up, set up in the pocket and you can find 
one, two, or three. That's where you want to go. If you got the matchup here on the outside, you created a situation where the safety can't get over top. You go that way. So by putting, by flooding the safeties, giving the safety a two-on-one go, and putting this safety in the bind on the back side, it gives Andy Dalton a situation where he can pick and choose which big play he wants to hit. And I think if they can get big plays early in this game versus the Texans, it could help them out in the long run in winning this game. I like the Bengals in this ball game. I think this one will be closer than a lot of people think. I don't think the Texans defense is bad. I don't think their offense is terrible. They'll have some success early on versus Cincinnati, but that offensive firepower of the Bengals, their defensive prowess, I think will limit the effectiveness throughout the course of this game of the Houston Texans. So I see the Bengals knocking off Houston 24 to 14. Texans and Bengals, that's your Monday night football game. My X Factor for the Texans is, is Nuke Hopkins, DeAndre Hopkins. They have to find a way to, to get him the football. He is their premier playmaker on offense. And if you look, they're able to throw the ball pretty well, the Texans that is. So do what you do best. Get the ball to your guy down the field, across the middle, short passing game. DeAndre Hopkins is having a really good year. So he's my X factor. He is the, the ticket for them on offense. As far as the Bengals are concerned, my X factor is running the football. I think this is a week where they really have to find balance on, on offense because the Texans defense is not that bad. 227 yards pass, and that's what they're allowing. So they're making it difficult for opposing teams to throw the ball on them. Andy Dalton playing at an MVP clip. But I think this is a week where Gio Bernard and Jeremy Hill can, can get things going. Bengals need to run the football, find balance. I have them winning this game. It's going to be a low-scoring one. I, I have them winning 21-17. to 17. In a matchup on Monday night that some think is not going to be that interesting, you have a Houston team that can't seem to buy a win these days playing against the undefeated Cincinnati Bengals at Cincinnati. Now my start for Houston is DeAndre Hopkins. He's got to get targets. I don't know what else to tell you. He leads the league in targets per game for a reason. He is the best player on their offense, especially now that Arian Foster is out. So I said it's going to be Alfred Blue. They are not running the ball as effectively as you would like from the running back position. Blue is the best option for the running back position in Houston, but they're not putting up quality numbers from a fantasy perspective. My start for the Cincinnati Bengals is going to be Andy Dalton. Why? Because he will have the ball in his hands. He will be able to pass to that talented receiving core and even check down the Gio Bernard. My sit is going to be Jeremy Hill. I think this Texans front holds up well and does not let Hill get downhill and really affect them in a run game. Expect Gio Bernard as far as a running back to have a better game. My sleeper here is Nate Washington, who I think will have a huge game given how Cincinnati will probably try to switch coverage over the top of DeAndre Hopkins. I have the shocker happening here. I think the first loss of the season will come on Monday Night Football with the Texans winning 24-20. to 20.